A city in Macomb County taking a new approach to fighting the opioid epidemic. Today, the Roseville Police Department announced a plan to reach out to people struggling with addiction and get them on the road to recovery. As Sean Lay reports, it's a program that's already proven successful in Sterling Heights. Good evening from Roseville. We met a mom here today. She has three family members, three addicted to drugs. You could feel the weight of that on her shoulders. What she heard here today is giving her hope. Uh, well, my father, my brother and my son have all struggled with a uh, substance use disorder. Maybe you are like Aaron Whipkoff, who knows too deeply what it's like having a family member who is addicted to drugs. Arresting a way out of the problem hasn't been working. Um, people, they just keep seeing the same people over and over again. So now we want to offer people another way out. In fact, Roseville police say they're seeing so many overdoses in Roseville homes from heroin pills, you name it. Families are stocking Narcan in the home themselves. Today, a new way of thinking for Roseville police. Now they arrive at an overdose, not to arrest, not to investigate, but to offer up recovery teams from the group Families Against Narcotics, led by retired Clinton Township Judge Linda Davis. Actually, the police, when we first started this, it was almost comical. They said, they're just going to slam the door in our face. They're not going to welcome us in. That has not happened a single time. Um, they are just is? because I think they're floored that somebody is actually there to help them. Roseville Police Chief Ryan Monroe says all he has to do is look to Sterling Heights, where he says this new way of thinking is working. They've had a 70% success rate getting people into recovery, which I believe is, I mean, I did, I, it's so high I didn't even believe it at first. But he swears it's 70% of the times they go out, those people are going into recovery and getting, and getting the help that they need. And how can you not, how can you not look at those statistics and want to do that in your own community? So now Roseville, Sterling Heights, there is a program like this in Taylor and a waiting list around the state. The judge says they want to expand. All it takes is state funding to make that happen. In Roseville, Sean Lake, Local 4.